Hi hey friends, I'm Mansur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about SQL SQL default constraint. So SQL default constraint is used to specify and insert the default value in a column when there is no value is specified to insert for a new record. Okay, so I will see uh, one example for this. I'll switch to my SQL Server Management Studio here. Uh, this default constraint which we have specified uh, at the time of create table statement okay so here I am creating this table create table TBL demo our uh, role number integer not null uh, like that title first name middle name last name and country country I have mentioned uh, default India okay so uh, while uh, inserting records if I'm not mentioning this column country then by default this value India will be inserted into that uh, column okay so we'll see one example I'll just create this table create table TBL demo table created now I'll insert insert into TBL demo uh, roll number title first name middle name last name okay one record inserted here uh, if you observe I have not mentioned this column country okay so what I'll do I'll uh, first try to select this table select star from TBL demo I'll just cross check see I have not mentioned this column India but by default as I have select default column country as India so it has taken India okay uh, similarly if suppose if I'm mentioning here I'll insert one more record insert into TBL demo uh, here I'll mention country column okay country as yes, Brazil again I uh, will insert record one row affected again I'll go to select start from TBL demo Brazil okay so uh, this default uh, constant is very useful uh, you don't need to put uh, values okay you can mention it as uh, some value for default constraint and will it will automatically take it okay in this way you can use this default constraint you can also visit to my website uh, for uh, article reference sql server log.com and uh, you can refer this article okay and if you have any query you can refer to me thank you